Hello everyone! Happy New Year and welcome back to Kanto Housewife. Today we're going to make some creme brulee boba milk tea inspired by Urban Ritual. I added some personal touch and it come out really good. Here's the ingredient list. For the flour and the boba, I added the important part of those recipe in this video, but I'll put the link to the full video in the description and in the end of the video. Here's my version of the milk to tea ratio. There's no perfect ratio to making boba milk tea, so adjust it according to your liking. Here is part of the flan recipe. This recipe will yield two servings of flan. I used two 4 inches ramekin, but you can use any container that can smoothly run a knife around it. Today's recipe is very short basically only has five ingredients, including the water. First, let's make some caramel sauce. In a small pot, preferably stainless steel or something lighter in color, so you can see the color change of the caramel sauce. Add the water and sugar, turn the heat up to high. Once the mixture started to boil, turn the heat to low don't need to mix it once it's boiling. It takes some time for the water to evaporate, so it will remain clear for a little bit. Once you see a light amber color, closely observe the pot. It is because the color will get dark fairly quickly. You can swirl the pot a little bit to see the color on the top. When you see a darker amber color, Turn off the fire and add 30 gram of water to the pot. Be careful, the mixture is hot and it will splash up a little bit. You will see this beautiful amber color caramel sauce once it's done. While it's still warm, pour the caramel sauce in the container and put it aside. Next, let's make the creamy custard. First, preheat the oven to 300 degree Fahrenheit. In a pot, add the heavy whipping cream and milk, heat it up until it starts to boil, and take it off the heat. In a mixing bowl, add one egg, sugar, and whisk it a little. Slowly add in the warm milk and cream mixture and whisk them all together. Once the mixture is combined, use a small strainer to remove air bubbles and lumps. You will end up with a smooth mixture like this. Next, pour the cream mixture into the container, then tap it a few times to remove any air bubbles. Cover the container with aluminum foil, then put them in a bigger container and fill that container with hot water until the water is about the height of the cream mixture. Put the container in the preheated oven and bake it for 40 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's done, take the container out of the oven and let it cool for 20 to 30 minutes on the counter. Put the flan in the fridge for at least an hour before serving it. Here is the rainbow boba recipe. Here is the ingredient list. This recipe will yield half a cup of boba, but if you prefer to make more, just double or triple the ingredients to get to your desired serving. First, we're going to add the water and turn on the heat to high. When the water is boiled, we're going to turn off the heat and add all the tapioca powder. Keep mixing it until it's kind of like lumpy and we're going to take it off the heat and put it in a bowl. I put the dough in a mixing bowl, but you can do the knitting on your kitchen counter, a pastry mat, or even your cutting board. In the beginning, it will look very lumpy, but don't worry. Keep knitting it until it turns into a ball. Alright, it's time to add the food coloring. First, on a cutting board or your counter, add some tapioca starch and separate the dough into the amount of color you want to mix. In my case, I want to try making seven colors along with white boba, so I separate it into eight parts. So I made all the dough into little snicks, 
and I cut it into little pieces. Afterward, I rolled those little pieces into balls. This process took me about 25 minutes. The boba pearl will expand after being cooked, so make sure you make the pearl about two-thirds of the size of your boba straw. When you're done, put some tapioca starch in a bowl and coat each pearl with the starch. This will prevent them from sticking together. Afterward, put the boba through a sieve so it will remove all the extra powder. To ensure I didn't mix up the indigo color with the blue and purple, I have a separate pot for it. But boil all the pearls for 20 minutes. When it's done, we're going to put it in some drinking water, rinse it, and drain it. While you're boiling the pearls, we're going to make some simple syrups. We're going to add a 1 to 1 ratio of water to sugar. In this recipe, we're going to ask for 1 third cup of simple syrup. So you'll need 1 third cup of hot water with 1 third cup of sugar. I made extra syrup just because I use it for my iced coffee and tea, but you don't have to. After we rinse the boba with some drinking water, we're going to filter it out and put it in a cup or bowl. Pour the simple syrup in until it's fully covered the boba. I like to soak my boba in the simple syrup for at least 30 minutes so it will absorb the sugar, but you can use it right away if you want. Here is the final product. I have to say this is so much better than the manufactured boba. It's more tender and still great and chewy, and they're not hard on the inside. I personally love Earl Grey, but you can use any tea of your choice to make the base. Just keep in mind to adjust the milk to tea ratio because some tea are stronger than the other and will require different amount of milk. Each tea have different steeping time and temperature, so steep the tea according to the manufacturer recommendation. Oversteep tea will end up having a bitter taste and might ruin the drink. For the milk, I chose to use Strauss whole milk, but you can use any milk of your choice. I tried to use toffee bites to replace the torch sugar, but we ran out of toffee bites, so we used toffee chocolate instead. It still tastes very good with the drink. So after everything is ready, it's time to assemble the milk tea. You can follow my ratio chart or make your own. I like to put the boba and flung in before the ice, then add the milk and the tea base, then top it with the toffee bites. Since the flan and the boba is already sweet, I didn't add simple syrup, but feel free to adjust the sweetness according to your liking. The Earl Grey tea and the milk taste perfectly together. The flan is smooth and the toffee is crunchy, which make you feel like you're eating creme brulee. The homemade boba is chewy but not hard in the middle, which is a great addition to this drink. All right, this concludes our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other content. As always, have a bowl delicious day!